our greatest living American, <laughs> Alan Iverson, <laughs> penned a feature for the Players' Tribune simply titled Alan. In the piece, AI attempts to drop the mic on the GOAT debate between MJ and LeBron. He writes, quote, first of all, I love LeBron. I have nothing but love for LeBron. That is the best player of his generation, one of the best ever. Great husband, great father, great role model. And it's even beyond that. What's he doing with that school in Akron? It is a beautiful thing. But y'all, Alan writes, we're talking about Mike. We're talking about Mike, okay? We're talking <laughs> about black Jesus himself. <laughs> Scotty Pippen, why do you think this is a debate? That will never die, despite us attempting to. Rockets GM Daryl Morey was just on our old friend Tom Haberstroh's podcast this week, and he laid out all these advanced analytics about LeBron having a much greater impact on the game than Jordan. Every no, this is this is 2018, and twice in one week, this becomes a huge topic of conversation again. I'm sick of it, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? Both players are great, mm -hmm. um, but Michael obviously stands out above LeBron because of his clutchness. And that's pretty much it. Both of them are great basketball players. There's no situation that can ever be the same. Mm -hmm. um, Le LeBron is definitely not uh, the same type of player that Michael Jordan is, but obviously both of them are great players. Um, anyone would embrace the opportunity to play with either one of those players. Obviously, if I had my choice, I'm going to stick with Mike. <laughs> I think it worked out it worked for you. Out, it worked out okay for you. I'm just saying, but, by the uh, way, Scotty you know has such what? a deep... I've enjoyed watching LeBron James play. Um, yeah. You know, he's been a great player. He's been a, a, a great leader for our game. He's done a lot of great things uh, outside of the game, but I can say the same for Mike. But in terms of basketball, Michael may edge him a little bit, a lot of bit. I think it's it's a victory for LeBron that he is not compared to his peers, but instead is compared to Michael. It means that you can't compare him to anybody he's actually ever played against. Right. To me, that's a victory for him. I know it doesn't settle the argument. Well, how is that not a victory for Michael? Then? Well, of course, we're not. Of course, well, it's a victory. For Michael. Yeah. Yeah. Michael's already got the victory. Right. He's just still getting victories. <laughs> Although I, I do wonder, do players who grew up worshiping Jordan, can they really ever compare him to a peer? You know, can you ever right. compare anybody that you played against to your idol? And I just don't know, you know, without being in that same situation. So we will be continue to talk about this. And again, it's a comp it's a, almost the ultimate compliment you could give to LeBron is to compare him to a ghost for, because he can't play against him. Right. I mean, and by the way, I, I know I, I'm expecting all of it later today, all y'all on IG and Twitter. Yes. We know Kobe Bryant exists. I promise. We, we, we got we got you. Talk to yes. Alan yes. about that. Please, Don't please. talk to us. <laughs> yeah. Alan, I, talk to Alan Iverson. Here's Alan Iverson's all-time starting five, not including himself. Stephen A was hot this morning about, my, or no, it was Max Kellerman was hot about Magic Johnson not being on here. Someone was very hot on, well, on first I day, saw Stephen A list and he put KD in and took Kobe out. It's tough. It's a tough, it's look, tough. it's a tough, why are you looking at me that I way? Just, it's tough to do, lists. it's tough to do. I yeah, see these lists where I never see the guy who won 11 titles on the list. I mean, yes. if he, it, <laughs> The years keep going on. We keep adding great players. Exactly. We keep going to five. I mean, yeah, five is not the number. It's, a, it's an insult to Bill Russell to not have him on there. But you know, you you draw the boxes in different zones, and it's just meant to be argued about. So I guess I could argue, but I don't feel like. It. I mean, my thing is, is when you talk about great players in basketball, why is it that it have to be just five players? Well, or, starting five. I mean, that's what I think people. Yeah, want. but. It's still, when you talk about great players in football, you don't go and get 11, 11 guys right? or 22 <laughs> guys, you know? You talk about who's the, who the great players are. So it's a lot of great players that have played in the NBA, and it's hard to say that, you know, it's Michael or it's LeBron, you know, because other guys, like you said, Bill Russell, how are you going to keep leaving him off? You know what's interesting is, um, so when the NBA had its 50th anniversary, they did the top 50. You're, you're sitting one next of to one of here. the top 50 so players. So I don't know for sure, but I assume when they have the 75th anniversary. They did some sort of update where they added. They didn't take away, they didn't, they didn't take anyone off. They, they added, they did right. some so adding. So in 2022 thing. will be the 75th anniversary. Mm -hmm. And f putting those 25 new names on, now that's where we can get interesting. And that's a more representative list right. wow. than five. Well, as I started the show, there's a small number of humans on Earth who've won six rings. This is one of them. Your guy who just mentioned Bill Russell is one of them. So there you go.